dumb. <laughs> oh my god, look at them. <laughs> Arms. <laughs> hey, this is um just a quick video I'm uh, dropping today because a lot of people are asking me um how uh I um how I get past moves like energy barrier and stuff like that and I I will make this into a more into a series. Um, let me know in the comments actually um, if what moves in particular you want me to review because I know after this I'll definitely probably do moves like Aura Slide and Punisher Drive and obviously Fake Death but if there's anything else you guys are um, really interested in uh, let me know in the comments because um, there, there might be things out there that I'm not aware of that uh, people can't get around so it would obviously help more to, um, to, uh, to yeah, do videos on that as well. So, um, the main way I get past energy barrier, and in all honesty, um, I don't get past energy barrier. When I play online, I actually normally don't have escape moves like after image on and stuff like that. But, um, for the sake of this video, and for you guys who hate the move, I will explain how I get past it when I do have moves like after image on. So, the main thing that, uh, my brother is helping me with this test, by the way. It's not me with two controllers, because that would be ridiculously hard to time. But, um... What I normally do, if, well, against a character like Final Form Mirror, it's a bit hard to tell because he's got all of these textures and weird aura around him. But what I normally do if I know someone's got moves like Energy Berry on, I mostly just look at their stamina, their stamina bar. And if I see stamina, like, disappear suddenly, I'll just hit After Image. But against characters that aren't Final Form Mirror, I can just look at the enemy and tell, oh, okay, he's doing the pose for it, so I'll just quickly hit After Image. I should hopefully not fuck this up. Um... Okay, well, I vanished to the other side because of the way Goku's combos naturally work, but I think I would have got the timing down if I if I didn't dash into it, but yeah, you guys know what I mean. It's just a case of, um, it's, it's a really hard, like, you have a very small timing window to do this, and characters that do get stuck in frames, I would be using uh, Elphys to test this, but Male Saints have combos that get them stuck in their uh, animations and frames, so they actually aren't worth using um, for this test. So that's why I'm on, uh, I haven't landed a single one, okay, hold on, let me see if I can get this right. Uh, characters like male Saiyans and stuff like that, um, characters that naturally get stuck in frames, um, they are pretty much kind of null and void from this, which is why I'm on Goku rather than Elphys. Um, if you're something like a male Elfling or a female Margin, and even a male Saiyan, to be fair, you can just XY out of these if you're fast enough, but most of the time you won't see it coming because that's... I mean, that's the whole point. The reason why most people can't get around things like this is because they don't see it coming. You didn't expect the move to be that fast. You didn't expect to be stuck in that exact frame. You didn't expect the game to lag at a certain point. You know, there's just certain things that you can't control about this game that you just need to accept. Um, so, uh, now that I've showed off uh, escaping of After Image, which is more of a... It's more of a game of just watching your enemies, but if you're looking at really cancerous hard things to look at, like Final Form Mirror, then it's easier to just After Image out of it because he is... He is, he's like his key and aura like blocks off your uh, your view for seeing him do the pose so uh the next move is backflip which is extremely obvious because backflip is like the god of invincibility frames um i, I won't show fake death for this test by the way uh, mostly because it's extremely fucking obvious that fake death avoids energy barrier fake death is in my opinion fake death is the strongest super attack in the whole game except it's the one that's used it's not used as much as or the punisher drive Mostly because the people using War Slide and Punish Drive need the, I guess, like the combo continuation, rather than just straight up invincibility frames. Well, uh, Punish Drive is kind of a mix of uh, the combo continuation and the invincibility frames, but um, yeah, backflip is also another move that works for this because um, if I wasn't doing the rapid kick, I could have avoided that. Backflip is another move that works for this because um, it's it's very quick. You can perfect block straight after doing it. It's um, it's chock full of invincibility frames, and has even more invincibility frames online. So, um, backflip is just a, like a perfect move for this test. It's uh, yeah. There's not many characters that have backflip. If you are on a CSC, um, I, I, in all honesty, I know I complain about moves like backflip and Lord Slide and stuff. But if someone's using Energy Barrier, they have no right to complain about anything, because Energy Barrier is a, it's an extremely uh. It's a it's an evasive and really really bad taste. Imagine in any fighting game you played that whenever you hit your enemy, he could just 
and combo you now for no reason. Just because you attacked him. Now imagine he had Aura Slide on top of that, which stuns you, meaning that you get stamina back slower for attacking him. You attacked at someone in a fighting game, so now you're being punished. It's not like you missed or his reflexes counteracted what you were doing. You just attacked him, your hits landed, and you're getting punished because he just feels like it. It's a really messed up evasive. It shouldn't it shouldn't be as uh as OP as it is. Um, I think I'll show off a few more tests with um backflip, just to show that you know if you are like timing it properly, if you're looking at the enemy stamina or just looking at their character's animation, you can dodge it. I recommend the stamina thing more because um I guess like the average human reaction time or like I know the way your eyes coordinate things, your eyes will probably pick up on uh, stamina bars missing faster than like a character like moving your arms around like that or something for an animation. Um, but remember, if you are stuck in frames, for example, Goku's Y combo where he does these multiple kicks, you probably won't be able to uh, backflip out of it because that is part of one, like, string. For example, um, yeah, for his third Y will always be, like, these rapid kicks. The same thing for uh, Male Saiyan's combos. Um, they will get stuck in uh, the animation and you'll just get punished. And people who use Energy Barrier um, know this and they'll use it to their fullest advantage. Um, I will... <laughs> I would have tried Mighty Explosive Wave, but Mighty Explosive Wave, unfortunately doesn't really um well actually this is fortunate technically but uh online there is way more invincibility frames because of the hit delay and detection so offline might explosive wave can't actually be used to escape energy barrier but if you guys watched my uh female margin build video you know that uh, mighty explosive wave can be used to uh completely punish energy barrier in my opinion it's the best move for punishing energy barrier online but offline it completely doesn't work i would assume um this same thing will also, for example, if you're going up against someone with a good connection, um, the same thing wouldn't work because they'd be less hit, like, you, you know what I mean, like, for example, if the male say an X combo works, you know, the one where you, like, fly around and do the, the rapid punches and knock the person back, if that combo works, then you most likely won't be able to use Might's Explosive Wave, because, um, when that combo works, that means the connection is good or damn near perfect, so, um, yeah, Might's Explosive Wave works online when you want to dodge energy barrier, but not offline, so, um, yeah, I, w I unfortunately I can't show it in this video, but um, there's that. Pressure sign is um very good for this in my opinion. It's it's not as good as backflip or after image. Um, you'll see why. I mean, it should be really obvious why. After you teleport with pressure sign. Also, I'm not sure. I don't think burst rush or gunbreaker protect you from energy barrier. Because energy barrier is one of those weird strikes that isn't actually connected to the character's body. So it acts as a key blast and the strike at the same time. So no, it doesn't act as a key it doesn't act as a key blast or a strike. So um the uh the counter will never pick up uh which one it actually is, unless if it's an all-purpose counter like pressure sign, which was or Southern Death Beam. Southern Death Beam is also kind of good. No, actually I changed that. Southern Death Beam is not good for this. Southern Death Beam has an insane like startup timer. Like, if you use Southern Death Beam, you would know that it has a delay to it. It doesn't actually, uh... It doesn't actually, like... Uh, the counter isn't up, like, the exact second you attack someone. The exact uh, second you hit the button. Now, Vegito does have a problem. Vegito's X combos do keep him in frames. I'm not saying use Vegito when you want to fight someone with Energy Barrier. I'm just saying that Vegito has pressure sign and I'm too lazy to put on my CAC. And my CAC is also a male Saiyan, so it's also really hard to test this, but... Um, for this, I will use Vegito's Y combo because he doesn't really get stuck that much. It's just kind of quick punches. So, um, whenever you see the stamina like disappear, you can use Pressure Sign. Unfortunately, Energy Barrier keeps the user invincible. So, even online when you teleport to the other side to do uh, Pressure Sign, you know, you um, you won't hit the person. So, that's why I recommend After Image or Backflip. But if you do have Pressure Sign equipped on like your natural preset, this is for the people that have press sign equipped for their natural preset, I guess. They can just now, um, you know, if you have press sign equipped, you can just quickly, um, you can just quickly dodge the attack. Instead of having to, you know, take the energy barrier, then the guy uses rice to action afterwards, or he uses aura slide afterwards, or just any of the cheap things that people naturally do. So, um, press sign is also another move that works with this. Like I said, I recommend you keep watching enemies' stamina, because you never know, people might save their stamina up. It's not worthy to look at the animations because, you know, it might be kind of... Yeah, I've said this before, it's just fast, honestly, to just track it based on, um... Uh, based on you seeing that stamina disappear. This video is getting kind of long, I do apologize, but I want to get in-depth on uh, energy barrier and how to escape it. Because this is a problem that I'll probably never get past because the game developers don't know exactly how to balance these kind of moves. Um, Punisher Drive is another move that works with this. 
Punisher Drive, in my opinion, actually works better online rather than offline because it's so fucked up with its um, hit detection that it's it's almost invincible online, but it's very easy to hit offline. It's uh, hilarious. Not to mention, for Punisher Drive, you kind of have to you have to mess around with the uh, movement with the left stick. I think that should be for both consoles, left stick. You have to mess around with the uh, controls to get Punisher Drive to come out faster. And let's say, for example, you have the one time where you're not coming out as fast as you normally would. You're just going to get hit by Energy Barrier. So, um, Punish Drive isn't always reliable. But it's it's a move you can use to um, escape Energy Barrier. Like I said, I hate Punish Drive as well. But Energy Barrier is worse. Because Energy Barrier combos into like fucking almost anything you want to in this game. So, there's that as well. The world shall be Aura Slide is another move you can use to escape these. Aura Slide is not... Again, Aura Slide is not as good as um, Backflip or After Image, in my opinion. Or Mighty Explosive Wave. Online. Because Aura Slide's just like, um... Just like uh, Pressure Sign, it keeps you... It keeps you in those frames. Because it's supposed to be, like, a, an attack. Not, like, just a, a dodge move. Other dodge moves do work, by the way. If you guys have any other dodge moves, uh, please... Please say in the comments for the people who don't know, um, because they might have uh, they might have timing issues or might need a different move. Like I said, fake death is another move you guys can use. Fake death is like, probably the easiest one to use because um, you are fake death is the literal like highest amount of invincibility frames you can reach in this game. Um, so yeah, yeah, fake death does work as well. I, I guess I'll just show fake death as well at the end of the video because fake death is the easiest one to show off, not to mention. I mean, hit the person the second they come out of energy barrier, unless they perfect block it, so, there's that. So, um, yeah, I'll just show off Aura Slides. Goku, uh, Black just fights exactly like Goku, so he doesn't really get stuck in the frames. It's more just a matter of timing, and, uh, whether you're aware of what's going on or not. So, I'm just watching the stamina, obviously, because I need to keep an eye on whenever energy barrier comes out. So it's easier to just look at the stamina. If you know you're hitting the person, then you don't have to look at them, that's the thing. If you hear the sound effects of you hitting them, and stuff like that, then don't bother looking at them, because you just know you're hitting them. You can just, you know, keep an eye on the stamina instead, and just uh, use Aura Slide when appropriate, or whatever counter move you have. Now, Stab Aura Slides doesn't really work. What I recommend more if you are going to use Aura Slide, this is slightly trickier, by the way. I would recommend using uh, Back Hit Aura Slide, because if the person tries to engage you after this, you can just left trigger to dodge. Get it, because left trigger is your passive skill. You can just use it to dodge anything. So, most of the time, just uh, use Aura Slide as a Back Hit. I was doing the rapid kicks, that's so why I couldn't avoid it. But um, use Aura Slide as a back hit, and you should be able to um, easily, like, uh, okay, well, that time um, I couldn't. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. If someone holds down Energy Barrier, you won't be able to avoid it, but most people don't hold it down. And if you hold down Energy Barrier, it loses its. It kind of loses its brokenness, because it's the initial hit of Energy Barrier that keeps you knocked back for a long time for people to combo with Aura Slide and uh, Rise to Action and stuff like that. So if you run into a held down energy barrier, you won't be knocked back for like nearly as long. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, Aura Slide as a back hit also works. Because if someone tries to attack you afterwards, you can just left trigger to dodge. And um, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll just show a fake death as well for the people who want to see it. Because obviously you're going to get people who want to see it. I'm really sorry if this uh, video drags on, but this is the thing people wanted to see. And I'm kind of rushing this one out because the actual um, anti-cheese video, I'm gonna do will take a while to do because i want to use online examples because that's obviously um the best example of how to do it because you won't see ai you abuse energy barrier into fucking aura slides you I'll only see our players do this you know so um i'll make fake death the last one i'm sorry if this is a rambling video because i'm checking the recording it's already gone on for 13 minutes and a half um but this is more of an in-depth video for people who really want to um <laughs> you know, counter things, so there's not going to be any, there's not going to be like any editing at all, I think, I think I'll just cut out parts where I'm just droning on or talking about random stuff. Uh, I, hold on. Did I do it properly? Okay, okay, there we go. So, Fake Death is actually the best one. Fake Death works better in the air. Um, I'm not joking, if you use Fake Death on the ground, you actually recover slower. If you use Fake Death on the air, though, you actually recover much faster. And if you are... I, I really hate talking about broken moves like Fake Death and what they're good at, but if you are a Super Saiyan or you transform, uh, you actually come out of Fake Death faster, which means you can spam it faster. And if you're a Super Saiyan 3 or Potential Unleashed, um, you can actually abuse Fake Death the fastest, because um, for some reason you just can't. Golden Form can't, even though it's the transformation that makes you move the fastest, but Super Saiyan 3 
and potential unleashed. I, I'm gonna just say potential unleashed because no one uses Super Saiyan 3. So, um, you know, if you see someone use Energy Barrier, you can just easily fake death that shit. Because it's literally the strongest super attack in the whole game, and I'm not joking at all. I think it's the strongest super attack in the whole game. You're, the person using Energy Barrier actually has better chance of vanishing than they do trying to fucking Energy Barrier, because it's just a waste of three bars of stamina. Just for them to get punished immediately. I'm really sorry, I don't know Yamcha's combos, so I don't know when he's stuck in the frames, I don't know... <laughs> I don't know much about it, but you could see, um, I could escape it when, uh when I wasn't stuck in the frames, it's just really easy to do. Fake Death is the easiest um, super attack in the game to use. It requires no skill, uses no key, um, requires no timing. You see how many invincibility rooms I had after I got up? He couldn't even, he couldn't even grab me after that, so... Um, yeah, if you find someone that has Fake Death and Energy Barrier on, you can't really do much about it, you just know the person's worse than you. Um, yeah, fun fact, if someone is using uh, exploits or things like this to fight you, and they... Um, whether they win or lose, actually, it doesn't matter if they are worse than you, because if you put these things on, they would they would get completely stomped, so. So, I mean, you guys don't have to feel too bad about losing to cheesy uh, presets or movesets. Um, I don't feel bad about it at all. Of course, I'll get upset, because naturally, um, the game is rewarding someone who has much less uh, skill than, uh, than me. Or An example being, someone using Energy Barrier on Aura Slide, and Energy Barrier Rise to Action, or any of those, like, stupid things. You know they're worse than you, but you can't help the fact that you're obviously mad at the fact that the game is rewarding this person for doing this. Meanwhile, you just lose because you actually wanted to play the game and have fun, or maybe you want to play the game and win legitimately and stuff like that. I understand the whole morality concept of, uh, you know, oh, you want to prove that you're better than someone so you don't use the same thing, and that's completely understandable, but you don't have to be upset that people um, will do this. If you get cheesed by someone, here are, the, here are the simple facts about it. You got cheesed, that's it. They're not better than you. They will never be better than you because if I'm, I'm sure the second they take that shit off, they get completely stopped. And you know that's true because most of these cheap players, you run into them online. I'm not going to name drop anyone because uh, you guys know me. I run into cheap players all the time. Like I mean, Shock HD, okay, you guys know Shock HD, so I can, I can say that name safely. But um, you know you can never uh, really get mad at people like Shock HD because uh, when you see how they play without the um, all the cheese, you're like, wow, this is kind of sad. So, um, yeah, I think I'll just end the video here. Because I've... 17 minutes. I've been talking for 17 minutes. And I'm really sorry if this is rambling. And for new people that might click on this video who are just curious of how to escape these moves, I'm sorry if the video is really long. I really am. But it's just because I really want to get these uh, points across. Because I don't want... I really don't want people to feel like I've kind of lied to them and stuff like that. In the, in the video. Or like deceive them. I really want... I really legitimately want people to be able to beat moves like this. Because it's stuff like this that completely kills the game. Um... A good example is I wouldn't be complaining anywhere near as much if the game developers just fixed this or if people just never played like this in general. Um, and a bunch of other people would honestly have a lot less problems with this game if the game just worked the way it was supposed to. Because I'm sure the game developers didn't intend for Energy Barrier to be a move that completely destroys you for just attacking the enemy. Or for Aura Slides to just be invincibility frame heaven, as well as fake death and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm really sorry, 18 minutes I've been talking for far too long. That's the end of this video. If you guys have recommendations for other people in the comments, let me know. If you have other super attacks that are good for dodging this, let me know. If there's more super attacks you want to see me do videos on, let me know again. Um, and that should be um, that should be it. I don't want to talk for too long. I'm really sorry if the video was uh, was dragged out, but um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, uh, yeah, see ya. Peace. <laughs>